Hi guys, it's Julie, and today um, I'm just sharing how I messed up on a, one of my holiday designs, and I was going to show you how I rescued it. So um, this is uh, Merry Little Christmas. It's from the recent Essentials by Ellen holiday release, and I'm just taking all the images in the set and aligning those on top of a quarter inch or quarter sheet of Canson XL watercolor paper. It's 140 pound watercolor paper. It's by far my favorite watercolor paper to work with. Um, I It always just works well with whatever watercolor medium I'm using. And I'm stamping my images with a VersaFine Nocturne in the Claire version. It's a faster drying pigment ink. And I'm gonna do some watercolor work here by just painting in very quickly with these Zig Clean Color Real Bush markers. Real brush, not bush. <laughs> what did I say? Bush, bar, brush? brush markers. So I'm not filling it in. I'm just adding some swipes of color and then I'm going to use a water brush to pull those colors away and give a really nice, very quick and easy watercolor look to my images. And then I can watercolor all of them, die cut all of them. They're ready to go on whatever cards I want to pop them up onto. So I'm going to set that aside now and work on my base card, which is a Nina Solar White A2 card front. Four and a quarter by five and a half once it's folded. I'm working with the Alpine Snowfall die. I wanted to have a knockout effect. And so I'm going to go right through the front of the card there. And I put some uh, typing paper behind it because my cutting pads are all etched up and I don't want to get any of those cut marks to transfer to my project. So that's why I um, like to use typing paper for that. So I, I do need to get some clean and fresh cutting pads though. And then I was like, oh my God. I got random ink smudges here. I was freaking out. I was so mad. So I got to fix this. So annoyed. And I grabbed my Tombow sand eraser. So this is often used for colored pencil work to erase colored pencil. And I find it works really spiffy. I've used it for years on my cards when I get an ink smudge because it'll take off that top layer of the paper and just sand away those random weird marks that sometimes happen when you're um, you know, busy making and preserved my clean, fresh white space there. <laughs> and then I took my little city, which I've already put foam mountain tape on it. And I set that there so I could figure out where I wanted to position my sentiment. Again, I'm using that nice nocturne black ink. And I'm going to go ahead and anchor that down on my work surface here with some magnets so that I can take that die cut little city and mount that into place. Sometimes I just, my paper scooches all around on me and I really like having a magnetic work surface. So I was looking at this and going, you know, it just seems just like a little, it just like, I like it, but it just, it needs a little something, something. So I grabbed one of my favorite embellishments, which is this just simple baker's twine. It's black and white, so it's gonna coordinate with no matter what I wanna use it on for the most part. And I use my cross lock tweezers, those ones by EK Success that just grip without you having to hang on to them. It's kind of like my extra helper in the studio because nobody around here got a pinky finger to help me out. And then I added some stickles, glitter glue. And to me, this just took the card all the way to the next level. I was so pleased. I'm just so glad I went ahead and did that extra step. And then I sat on my hands because now it's perfect. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.